1975, the Vietnam War ends and with it, the world's economic balance begins to shift. We today have concluded an agreement to end the war and bring peace with honor in Vietnam. Europe began to rise as a hub of industrial innovation. In Paris, a new chapter began, EMO 1975. For the first time, the world gathered in Europe to showcase what's next. With 800 exhibitors, EMO 1975 saw a world exhibition in every sense. EMO was established in the 70s because the European manufacturers have seen there is a need for a global showroom machine tool. That was that time where uh, we had the global market in the focus. Also Europe at that time was not a common union like it is today. It was also more fragmented than today. Um, and we would like to have the world as a customer market, as visitors here. And we have seen in the mid of the 70s, Japan is getting more relevant, Korea is coming up. Uh, and we invited all of them to be there in Europe and to have the real international show for machine tool. This year, Emo is celebrating 50 years. Emo is still until today the international platform for the machine tool sector and the metalworking industry. And Machine Maker is bringing a unique series of storytelling depicting something beyond manufacturing. Stay tuned with us.